Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome to Minecraft Snapshot 14W27. We may as well just call this the Rabbit Snapshot because that is indeed the main focus here as you can no doubt tell by all the little hopping bunny rabbits in front of me. They come in all different, I was going to say shapes and sizes, except that's not true. They, they really only come in one shape and size, but they do have a bunch of different fur colors and stuff, including one that can only be obtained by naming a rabbit Toast. I guess there was a dude on, on Twitter or something who messaged uh, one of the developers and, and the rabbit named Toast had, had passed away. Um, rest in peace, Toast. But but now Toast is immortalized in Minecraft, which is kind of cool. So anyway, rabbits, what do they do? Well, uh, they, they hop, as you can see. Uh, rabbits are they're kind of known for, for doing that. You can also tame them by feeding them carrots. So now you love me, right? All right, cool. I have my own little bunny rabbit pet. You can also breed them using carrots. Now, interestingly enough, you may you may be familiar with uh, with the phrase breeding like rabbits. Um, so uh, rabbits, they don't breed. They don't breed on their own, um, despite the fact that in nature they, they may do so. But uh, <laughs> one of the developers said that if you made it too realistic, then uh, there would be so many baby rabbits popping out that it would lag and or crash the game. So you have to breed them with carrots. But uh, it, it is what it is, you know, you don't want your game to crash and stuff. So you can tame them, you can breed them, so on and so forth. You can also, uh, you can kill them. Um, you can do that. <laughs> you so desire. Toast, I'll leave you be, but uh, as for the other ones, I am so sorry. It's for science. So you can get a few items from, uh, from killing rabbits. And uh, hold on, if I just go and try to get all of what I can. I'm still trying to get a rabbit's foot here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one. Seems like maybe that's a, a rarity here. Um, so you can get you can get the, the rabbit hide. You can get raw rabbits, which is uh, meat. And you can also, I guess, if you're lucky, because lucky rabbit's foot, you know, it's a good luck charm. Uh, you can get rabbit's foot. So toast, I'm going to leave you be because you are uh, one cool rabbit. Uh, so this is the rabbit's foot. I guess it's a it's a rarer drop. Um, but then we have the rabbit hide. We have the raw rabbit. And then if you smelt the raw rabbit in a furnace, then you can get yourself some uh, some cooked rabbit. You can eat both of them. Just a, a new source of food. A um, couple crafting recipes you can do, though. Uh, one is to make rabbit stew. Rabbit stew will restore half of your hunger bar. So 10 hunger points, five actual hunger pieces in your hunger bar. If you eat it, the crafting recipe is cooked rabbit, baked potato, carrots, Mushroom, it can be either a red mushroom or a brown mushroom, and a bowl. Um, it is a, a shape-dependent crafting recipe. You can swap the carrot and the mushroom, but the bowl, potato, and rabbit have to be in that configuration right there. And then you can also use the rabbit hide to make some regular leather. So for rabbit hide in a, in a crafting table, and then you get uh, regular leather in return. Now, on top of all the stuff that you can get from the rabbits, you can also get uh, mutton now. So sheep can actually be used as a food source. This is something that I have wished was a thing for a very long time. I mean, sheep, nothing against you guys. I mean, you're really useful for for your wool and stuff, and I like shearing you in a non-violent fashion, but sometimes you just gotta eat. What can I say? So, RIP sheep, it's for science. One more, and once again, and so uh, now we have raw mutton, and once again, if we put the raw mutton, I totally got this reversed that right there is uh, is cooked mutton so let's put that there and raw mutton so if we cook the raw mutton in a furnace we can get ourselves some cooked mutton and once again just another food source so that's helpful most definitely and uh, we're not done with rabbits yet so you're wondering probably what, what the rabbit's foot can do well the rabbit's foot can be used in order to make potions of leaping so the basic potion of leaping is simply awkward potions plus rabbit's foot let it go on and do its thing and brew, and then you'll get a potion of leaping. I don't know the exact modifiers that you put in to uh, to get the the potion of, of leaping two, um, but then you obviously combine with gunpowder to, to make the splash potion. So, anyway, here we go, almost finished, and there we are, potion of leaping. Three minutes. This could be consumed if we go into survival. So why don't we do that? Consume our potion of leaping and then we can jump higher woohoo jump over the fence hey hey how's it going toast I just hopped over the fence like a, a rabbit pretty crazy huh uh but that's not all we, we have one final thing to get to so, so and it's the main reason i'm holding a, a sword in my hand because it's very dangerous so let's head over to a secret place 
Behold the cave of Kerbenug. In it lies the killer rabbit. And unfortunately, I don't have a holy hand grenade on me, so we may be in for a heck of a battle. So you have a one in a thousand chance of in the wild encountering the killer rabbits of Kerbenug. And uh, he will attempt to attack you. So why don't I switch into survival mode here? So we have ourselves a little bit of a, a battle. And, oh man, he's vicious. He's vicious. He's going to come after us. He's guarding his, his cave. We better be careful. Oh, God. And here he comes. Oh, no. Be careful. Ow, he actually takes... He does four hearts of damage. Good God. <laughs> it hurts, man. It hurts. Oh, God. He's going to come after us again. Oh. If he hits us one more time, actually. Let's see if I can take him out. Oh, God. And he has been vanquished. I didn't even need a holy hand grenade to do it. So that is that is the killer rabbits of Karapadog. And, uh, well, we, uh, we took him out. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's about it for, uh, for the rabbits. And hopefully you've enjoyed. Uh, if you have, a rating would be much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Oh, by the way, if you, if you want to actually spawn the, uh, the killer rabbits, um, you can use that command right there in order to, to summon him on your location and uh, fight him yourself if you so desire so you don't have to wait until you encounter him with that uh, very slim percent chance in the wild. So, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.